thing about the old Captain Boomer's podcast here. <laughs> There's a lot of crap you ain't heard in a long time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because you know what? A long time ago, things were a little bit different. And a little bit better. And a little made a little bit more sense. But now, I don't know. Well, good morning, everybody. This is Captain Boomer. This is the the Big Bopper speaking to you. No, not the Big Bopper. Uh, he de- he did right, Bob. Yeah, him and uh, what's his name with the goofy glasses. He started all those goofy glasses thing, the nerd glasses. Oh yeah, but yeah, Buddy Holly. Yeah. Anyway, coming to you live from the beautiful Twin Cities area. You betcha. And how about those whites last night, huh? Uh, you betcha. And they were even banged up. And they beat a you know pretty good team. Chargers are a pretty good team. So so uh, they're still kind of in the hunt. They've got to uh, they've got to win at least these next two three games. At least uh, I mean I don't know what's the record now. Four and five, nine. Well yeah well they got six seven games left. Something anyway. Uh yeah where to go bikes. Alrighty, there you go. So, we got our snow checking in with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, it is what it is, right? I guess, you know, with winter, I, I guess I'd rather have some snow than no snow. Because, uh, you know, we've had brown uh, Christmases before and, and stuff, and that's not good. That really sucks. Anyway, so, we've got some snow uh, on the ground now, and so we're officially kind of kicking off in the winter, and this show here is entitled Captain Boomer Bill Update, and if you don't know anything about Captain Boomer's uh, Boomerville, well, I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's simply, uh, <laughs> no, it, it's just it's just me with my goofy mind creating things and stuff like I always do, and if you've been listening to me at all, of course, most people don't, but the few that might, you know that, uh, you got to take a lot of what uh, what I say with a grain of salt, and that's uh, and that's fine, uh, because I, I what what I <laughs> I kind of change things up a little bit, you know. I try to use sarcastic humor uh, to uh, to to get a, a point across, to make some kind of sense out of some of the stuff that's out there. And man, I'm telling you, uh, that's what we need. Maybe I should maybe I should come up with one. A boomer's guide today's guide for today's insanity. What do you think, Bob? I think that would be good, wouldn't it? Hell yeah! Damn right. We all need help going through stuff, you know, crazy. If it's not with the techno stuff, you know, learning not knowing how to push the right button on your gizmo or gadget or whatever the hell you got. Get these medications and stuff, and no, oh, that's a whole nother thing. These, these meds, man, I'm telling you. I, I, I just got a rule of thumb with those meds guys, really, you know. Hey, boomers, God bless you. I love you guys. But you know what? When the side effects are listed in the commercial, it, it takes longer than the commercial itself. Don't even screw with that shit. Right? I mean, come on. Hiding, headaches, diarrhea, muscle pain, vomiting. You could die. You could fall over. Lose weight. Lose sense of direction, lose smell, lose taste, and at the end, lose your freaking mind. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Right, Bob? 
Hell yeah! Yeah, that's right. It's nuts. Thank God me and Bob still got our sanity. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we'll play some music a little later on, but I like the bullshit. Get, get some, uh... Oh, is it that time, Bob? All right, well, let's do it. Let's do it. One thing, uh, Captain Boomer, I, I pride myself on with my little shows here, and like I've been telling you guys for four or five years now, this is just a little hobby of mine. I'm, hit, uh, I'm tucked away in my little uh, secure bomb shelter in the Twin Cities area somewhere, but I cannot disclose the area where I live because of, because of, uh, what is it called, Bob? Podcasters. Uh, it's something about, oh yeah, my identification has got to be, uh, well, you know what I'm talking about. I can't remember the name of it. Anyways, I can't do it anyway. Get on with it. Um. Yeah, so here we go. You guys ready? I I know you guys have been waiting with bated breath to, for me to play this on the old Captain Boomer's podcast. I know it. And you know what? I'm, I hear you. I hear you. And here it comes. You guys ready? All right. This is going to be so cool. You guys will like it. I think you will anyway. Here we go. I got to get the right button here though. Blast off. Here we go. No, that isn't blast off. No, that ain't it either. Hang on, guys. Here we go. Holy and Lena doing a two step. Yeah. Come on out here, Lena. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that woman! Look at that woman spin! Yeah! She's got her pogo dress on! Yeah! Ooh. Betcha, huh? I dare, I dare any other podcast in the world to come to, to play that stuff, huh? You're only going to hear it here on Captain Boomer's podcast. That's right. That's the way it is. And that's the way it's going to stay. Hey, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, there we go. What else we got to talk about, Bob? There's lots of stuff, I'm telling you. Uh, this Wisconsin stuff with uh, Rittenhauer or Rittenbacher or whatever the hell his name is that that kid, whatever the hell it is, that uh, that feels it's okay to self-defend himself with an automatic uh, uh, military-style weapon. Um, yeah, I don't get it. Uh, the, the, the defense should rest because, he really, as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't have much of a defense. <laughs> you go down to any kind of gathering with an automatic weapon, and, and by the way, he even, when he, that one part I seen on the news, he even had rubber gloves on. The sturgeon gloves, you know, whatever they put the, you know what I'm talking about, those blue ones that the, yeah, that's in all the NCIS movies and all the, you know, Law and Order, whatever the hell. It's so damn many of those things drive you nuts. Anyways, um, the examiner's glove, whatever. Uh, now I can only think of one reason why you would want to wear rubber gloves uh, to something like that, and you're carrying an automatic weapon. Uh, maybe because you. Uh, didn't want to leave fingerprints on the weapon that you were going to shoot? That's the only thing I can think of. Right, Bob? That's right. Hell yeah! You're damn right. I mean, uh... <laughs> and the kid says, a uh, 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 prosecutor, did he, did he touch you? And, uh, no, but he touched my gun. Uh, okay. <laughs> Maybe he was going to touch your gun, dipshit, to push your... Pushed the barrel away from his body so you didn't shoot him. Oh my god. Boo goo 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 dinky now. It's all boo goo goo goo. It's all that. Oh, he got catch a boo. Wow. Someone's gotta do it. Hell, might as well be me. Anyway. <laughs> 
Uh, anyway, uh, back to Cap, uh, back to uh, Boomerville. Boomerville. Like I said, it, it it comes out of a little bit of nonsense, but it comes out of necessity too. And well, how's that word? How's that go? Something about the the mother of invention. Necessity is the mother of invention. Something like that. Uh, anyway, uh, I propose that the way things are going, we create our own country, but it's just going to be called Boomerville. We're going to take three or four states west, or it could be Midwest, but we're trying to. We're trying to, we just want to cater to the boomer, hence the name Boomerville. So we're not going to include too much snow except in the mountains because there's going to be a lot of us boomers still uh, uh, want to ski, and that's fine. Um, so I haven't picked the three, the three, four states yet. They're out west. It could be Colorado, Wyoming. Um, anyway, but, but they all have to be connected. I have to look at my map and see where that comes in at. Uh, okay, let's see we... Well, I can't read it from here. But anyways, you, you get the idea. And we're going to have, there's supposedly 70, I've heard anywhere from 72 to 76 million boomers. And if that ain't enough to start your own country, there's enough right there we can have our own army. Um, really shouldn't need it, but, hell, every country's got one. Uh, we want to be cool, too. Uh, our own hospitals. Uh, but, the, but the coolest thing is, we're... Everything is going to be back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Yeah, and maybe even a little bit of the 40s, late 40s. Uh, some of the, the music, we had the best music in the world. Let's see, and there's, there's not a doubt there. No one's going to argue that. We'll bring back in, we'll be, bring back some of our cool cars, our muscle cars that we had. Yeah, yeah. Our music. And best of all, guess what? We're going to have the prices down to where they were. Don't ask me how. I just got this on paper. But I'm telling you. I think it'd be dynamite. We'd have our own healthcare system, everything. Uh, yeah, and it'd be cool. I think it'd really be cool. I really do. Uh, yeah. Anyway, because uh, I don't know, this this government lately has just uh, uh, half the time it's not there, and when it is, it's it's either corrupt or it just isn't getting the job done for any of us. So there you go. You betcha. I'm going to bring Benny Hill in right now. Benny Hill's on deck. Come on in, Benny. piano but you cannot come on guys but you cannot tune a fish that's right that's right but you don't hear that out there anymore either in anybody's podcast who this guy who who's a, who we got about Humphrey Bogart really he's checking in how can he check in Bob he's been dead for what 40 50 years anyway he's here yeah and he wants to leave a little message for you guys. You, with all the podcasts in the world, you have to listen to mine. Play it again, Captain. Well, I sure will, Hump. Uh, there you go. Uh, that Humpty Bogart checked in with us. And, uh... <laughs> so, you, na you name your son Humphrey. That's fine, but what is his and what is his nickname then? Huh? Would would it be Hump? 